If you want to take back Michigan, make some noise! The blessing of liberty is our liberty. We are the people. 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 And with my pleasure now to introduce Tom Taluki, president of our Michigan Corrections Officers. I can't hear you. Let's get fired up. I can't hear you. They can't hear you. Let's get fired up. Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm Tom Taluki, president of the Michigan Corrections Organization. I stand here today as a correction officer, as a state employee, as a union member, taxpayer, and a voter. I see Michigan struggling. We all see Michigan struggling. I understand there's a crisis that must be solved. It won't be easy, and I get that. But what I don't get is this blatant attack on the middle class workers. Do you get it? No! When I hear lawmakers using terms like overpaid, cushy jobs, greedy, I tend to take it personally, and it pisses me off. take it for granted. That just grinds my you-know-what. Let's talk about my cushy job. In my 27 years of serving Michigan, I've had urine, feces, pool balls, chairs, and you name it, thrown at me. I've been exposed to every communicable disease known to man, women, and child and had to take that home to my family. And quite frankly, there's more that at this time I'd rather not talk about. I've also lost four co-workers murdered in the line of duty in Michigan's prisons in my 27-year cushy career. Correction officers work unarmed, putting our lives on the line 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single day to keep the citizens here in Michigan safe. And on behalf of my members, we're proud to do it. But don't stand there and tell me I've got it too good. That I must share in the sacrifice. We have sacrificed. State employment is not what it used to be. We have suffered through massive cuts year in and year out. Through layoffs, through staffing shortages. And it's put people's lives at risk. closures have resulted in overcrowding. Prisons made and designed to hold six to seven hundred inmates have twelve and thirteen hundred and at the same time this administration thinks it's okay to cram them in and cut officer positions. That's a bunch of crap! <laughs> I'm here to tell you that our boots on the ground are seeing more assaults, more weapons, and more activity than any of us can ever remember. It's outright dangerous, an unimaginable job, what goes on behind the walls in our prisons here in Michigan. Businesses are out to make a profit. States are to provide a service. You cannot treat them the same. The workers of this state have already given. Now we're being asked to give and give again. 
Well, corporations get a $1.8 billion tax break. That's a bunch of crap. As a voter, my voice is at the ballot, at the ballot box. As a taxpayer, is where and how I want to spend my money. As a union member, it is through my collective bargaining rights to secure safe working conditions and a safe wage, fair wage. As a correction officer, standing here today, putting our elected leaders on notice, we are the people and we will be heard. We're mad as hell and we ain't gonna take it anymore. Enough is enough. I would also like to thank this current administration. They woke Michigan sleeping giant. Middle class unions were mobilized and were ready to go to war. Let me hear you.